Hi, it's your favorite realtor, Carmen. In this video, we're going to discuss a general overview of what to expect once we're under contract from inspections, repairs, and negotiations. After formally accepting an offer, you are now under contract. There are several important steps involved in this process that lead to closing the transaction. Here's a quick breakdown of what to expect. EMD. The buyer will need to provide what is known as an earnest money deposit, which represents their good faith to purchase the home. This could range from 1% to 3% of the sales price, although that's fully negotiable. Receiving a deposit demonstrates the buyer's good faith to purchase your house and allows them to proceed to gather their financing and conduct the title search, property appraisal, and inspections before closing. Attorney Review Your attorney will work with you to make sure that all terms are fulfilled by both you and the buyer which were initially agreed upon in the contract. Keep in mind, there are some safeguards in place which include a home inspection and loan contingency. Your attorney will handle any potential inspection issues, order and review title, as well as the survey of the property, ensure contingencies are met, as well as possibly modify terms of the contract if points need to be renegotiated. Review Closing Costs Your agent and attorney will review the fees associated with closing on a house, which will be paid by you, the buyer, or both. Some seller fees include title, survey, escrow, and attorney fees. Home Inspection the buyers will most likely hire a home inspection company to thoroughly inspect your house and highlight any potential problematic areas or points of concern before moving forward. Pest Inspection Some homes will require a pest inspection. This is when a qualified company comes out to assess if the home has any damage from pests and termites. After the home and pest inspections are completed, there are three directions the buyer may go. First, the buyer may change their mind and walk away from the property. Second, the buyer is happy with the property and wants to move toward closing. Or third, the buyer could submit a formal request for repairs and we may negotiate for certain repairs to be made or credits be offered depending on the final results of the inspections. In the next video in our series, we'll discuss what happens toward the end of the sales process when you close your transaction. If you're interested in learning more about how my team and I can guide you throughout the entire home selling process, don't hesitate to contact me today. I'm Carmen Poplowski with Century 21, and I look forward to hearing from you.